So here we go again. Here we go again. Hasbro got a Hasbro. So I'm sitting here watching all these like different memes and gifs and all these other things about Megatron on the uh, ship uh, in studio in in the uh, Transformers '86 movie transforming into a tank, and I'm like, well, what madness is this? And then I I followed up and started reading comments on some of these videos about the the uh, uh, Transformers team at Hasbro announcing that Megatron is going to be a tank and not a gun for the Studio Series 86 line. And my first thought was, yeah, that makes sense because Hasbro got a Hasbro. <laughs> And everybody's like, everybody's like, oh, they, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're doing. Listen, I'm gonna tell you exactly. I'm gonna tell you exactly uh, what what the deal is. I'm gonna tell you exactly what the deal is. One is gonna be a leader class. Okay, cool. Here's the reason why that thing's a tank, and it's very simple. It's because they don't want to retool the figure. They want to do everything in their power to reuse that siege megatron mold that's it that's it the end they're being cheap it's not hasbro because like okay think about the logic here make this math math so gi joe classified figures come with guns not just little pistols they come with sniper rifles they come with Gatling guns, they come with bazookas, they come with rail guns, they come with uh, 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 LMGs, they come with explosives and grenades and all this other crap. They come with all this stuff, right? Transformers come with guns. They come with guns. Literally, I have a shelf full of Transformers that have guns and missile launchers and giant cannons but for some reason megatron can't be a gun <laughs> you can have every other figure and all your other lines have guns marvel legends the punisher that they just pre they put up for pre-order he has guns he could come with a gun but god forbid megatron transforms into a gun like straight up that math ain't mathin folks you want to know why that math they mathing? Because Hasbro is being Hasbro and they are being cheap. They are going to milk that Earthrise mold until the cows come home, baby. <laughs> they are going to milk that thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are going to milk that mold. That's all it is. That's all it is. The controversy really isn't a controversy. It's just Hasbro being cheap. They're literally going to probably make the legs longer on this megatron um that's going to be the only new part it's like it's going to be like the uh uh 86 uh springer they're essentially going to change a few things here and there make the legs longer and it's basically the same figure like you know <laughs> like they are, they're gonna tweak it here tweak it there but it's basically going to be the same figure and that's why they're making it a tank it's not that they don't want to make it a gun because that, that's the argument everybody's been saying to me they don't want to make it a gun they don't want it to be a gun and i was like because you know it's controversial no it's not no it's not because they literally sell guns with an entire line of figures right gi joe classified every figure comes with a gun <laughs> It's not guns. It's not guns. It's not that. It's not that. You know what it is? It's them being cheap. Let's keep it a buck. Everybody else is trying to make these large logical uh, explanations about it and like, oh, oh, it's because of it's because they don't want to appear to be giving putting guns in kids' hands. They sell nerf. <laughs> Yo, they sell Nerf guns. They are literally, literally putting guns in the hands of children that shoot projectiles at other children. And they can't make Megatron a gun. It's not because the gun. It's because they're cheap. I'm tired of like, I, I don't get what people are 
I don't understand why people are trying to add on these like giant philosophical arguments and everything. It's nothing. It's Hasbro being Hasbro and being cheap. Okay? Controversy over. Controversy over. I'm willing to bet good money. I, you know, my my boy listens to my videos all the time and we, we talk we talk all, all we talk all the time about this stuff. I'm willing to bet good money that when this Megatron drops, it's going to be a leader class. This Megatron, right, is just going to have a quarter inch longer legs, right? And he's still going to transform into the same tank. He's probably going to have, I'm, I'm willing to bet good money too, that they're going to parts form the back where you have to take the back off and it's going to be the extension to the tank because they have to make it look like the 86 movie megatron the animated megatron they have to make them look like that they have to make them look like that so they're going to probably have a, a, a parts forming piece like they did with the uh cannon in the uh, siege mode where the cannon became the uh where the uh spear became part of the cannon i'm willing to bet good money they're going to parts form his back so you can take his back and um you have to detach it and uh, and put it into the tank mode or uh, take it off the tank mode and pa put it on the back of the robot boat. I'm willing to bet good money that's the way they're going to do it. I'm willing to bet good money that's how they're going to do it. Or they could straight up just like rob the uh, the the uh, Robinson version where like his back kind of transforms into it. It kind of guides into it. I don't know what they're going to do. I, I'm, but I'm willing to bet good money's parts forming because I, I don't I just have this strange feeling since it's a leader class they're going to parts form. If it was a commander class, I would have been like, oh yeah, they're going to they might throw in some like decent engineering. But yeah, this is going to be parts forming all the way. I have I have no doubt in my mind that this is probably going to be a parts forming situation but yeah please 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 stop stop just stop it stop it it's hasbro being cheap it's not hasbro trying to avert controversy or do anything like that they're just trying to milk the siege mold over and over again that's all i gotta say about it that's, that's all i gotta say if you think i'm wrong hit me up in the comments Hit me up in the comments and tell me where I'm wrong on this logic. This has been my logic since I found out about this. And this, this is going to be my logic going forward with this whole controversy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, right? But yeah, hit me up in the comments if you think I'm wrong. And tell me why I'm why I'm wrong. Why they're making Megatron for Studio Series 86 a tank. Tell me why I'm wrong. I think I'm right. I know there's going to be a lot of people who hear this that are going to think I'm right as well. They're going to assume I'm right. Matter of fact, they're not even going to assume. They're going to know I'm right. All right? Anyway, with that, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to email me. Feel free to email me. Drunkenprime at gmail.com. Email me and write as long a book as you want telling me why I'm wrong. I would love to read the emails as well bring it on i'll leave the address in the description by all means email me and tell me where i'm wrong show me evidence that you can't fit in a youtube post uh, a youtube uh comment hit me up let me know make sure you uh check out the community tab that's where i post any pre-orders any uh deals on figs or any uh restocks that i come across while browsing the World Wide web I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also in the description is my uh, Amazon affiliate link. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. All you have to do is click on the link, go to Amazon, buy away. It's a great way to support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. But yeah, with that, be safe, be good. And it's the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer and signing off.